All right, so there's some question. There was a question about um, how much wobbling and stuff is okay for a new or a walker that's been walking for about three months. So I'm gonna say that varies a little bit. Like I would, I would like to know a little bit more about how um, how when you see the wobbling like if it's just on flat ground so like if it's if they have been walking as their primary mode of mobility you know they may still crawl occasionally or do things but like walking is what they do the majority of the time and you're still seeing lots of wobbling on open flat terrain um and in familiar territory um that might be a little bit more than i would expect um you know over uneven terrain like outside or with lots of obstacles like if you look at my living room right now there is a lot of obstacles happening and there's a lot going on so there's a lot more to pay attention to um also have you want to look and see because initially a lot of times they start with the high guard or you can just see kind of they're holding things very stiff has that started to come down if that has come down and you're starting to see a little bit more um loosening up of the trunk so they're not holding everything as rigid that could be why you're seeing some wobbling because they're starting to release some of those degrees of freedom so there's a lot of factors that play into it so basically little one starts walking consistently um the more that they get to practice you should see them start to become more proficient at it you're still going to see falls you're still going to see that stuff because their attention span is very low. Like, it's like the dog from up. You, they turn their head to look at something and they lose their balance because now they've just changed their orientation. Um, so, so if that's what's happening, that is, I would say, more typical. Sorry, he's coming over here. Um, so if they're outside on uneven terrain, on sand, on tan bark, and they're wobbly, or they're navigating obstacles, that's fairly typical also. But if they're still looking like that brand new walker, um, three months in and they've been walking consistently, you might want to get um, a, that looked at, just to see, make sure that there's nothing that you're that's being missed. But hope that helped. Let me know if there's more questions. I tried my best to explain kind of what you would be looking for to see concerns about somebody that's been walking for a while. I also have on our developmental milestone roundup, which is linked in our bio, um, posts on walkers. Sorry for the noise over here. We're unpacking all the toys. Um, and how to progress walking. So ways to like challenge their balance to help them improve it. And then we also have our new walker gross motor program which looks at how to progress walking after those first few steps and to help um, promote balance and navigation so let me know what your questions are